What is the fourth dimension? Once upon a time, in our everyday world, everything we knew seemed to fit nicely into three dimensions, length, width, and height. We use these dimensions to describe the objects around us like boxes, tables, and even our playgrounds. You can think of these as parts of a drawing, length and width give us a flat picture, and by adding height, we get a 3D object we can hold. But what happens when we add another dimension? Enter the mysterious world of the fourth dimension. The idea of the fourth dimension might feel a bit like trying to imagine a new color you've never seen before. It goes beyond our daily experience. The fourth dimension, in a way, involves time, an element that's everywhere yet unseen. Imagine if you filmed yourself jumping up and down. When you watch the video, you see yourself moving not just back and forth or up and down, but through time. That's how the fourth dimension adds depth to our understanding. Scientists and mathematicians often visualize the fourth dimension with the concept of a tesseract. If you think of a tesseract, imagine a cube, but with one more layer. Just as a cube is made up of square faces, a tesseract is made up of cubic faces. It's like having a magical Rubik's cube that you could only dream about twisting and turning in ways you didn't know existed. The fourth dimension helps us to think about the universe in more complex ways. It affects theories in physics, such as Einstein's theory of relativity, where time and space are interwoven into what we call space-time. It helps explain how planets move through space and how they appear to us from far away.